Hello and welcome to episode 17 of Road to Community Warfare. Uh, last game we did some Community Warfare drop, so today we're going to go with normal drops. And we're going to try to rotate through our mechs here. Uh, we just have 300,000 more until we can get our 9 SE, finish off our, our Thunderbolts, and let's go. Alright, Skirmish on Bog. Well, probably not the, the best mech for this map since we're really long range there isn't many long sight lines here um oh yeah a lot of disconnects well hopefully they come back in time but we shall make the best of it thankfully we do have our ecm we're going to move forward very quickly and try to get some scouting on the enemy uh i think we're fast enough we can go up the middle here And try to get up here before the enemy start to get up that end of the ramp. Oh my god, those need to be flattened out. Make it easier for people to run up. Excellent. RECM is being countered. That means they're nearby. We're just going to move off. Still being countered. Still being countered. Streak Stormcrow. Ooh, we want to watch out for him. That guy will ruin our day with his streaks uh don't notice me thank you we shall use this tree as much as we can for cover and try to uh, acquire the enemy targets we'll go with our gargoyle here he's gonna push around if that timber was pushing around as well we're gonna run into him and i want to be here to add fire to the gargoyle while he starts taking it, I can dish it as well, and also to give him some ECM coverage. Because ECM is excellent things to have. Although probably it'd be more useful back here in my team, giving them general ECM coverage. Try to get that shot in. And we'll just back up the team here as they push around. Ooh, ECM is being cut off. Let's try to back up there, it's back on. So I don't really want to push anymore because there's that Stormcrow or somebody down there with BAP or running counter ECM that's causing me to uh, lose my ECM coverage. Shot there. I'm going to try to go for the Atlas's right side because that's where his guns are. And that's a good thing to get rid of. Or at least uh, the Atlas has... Um, Stereotypically, it's heavy ballistics on its right torso. Oh god, okay. Retreat. <laughs> uh, da -da. Around the corner. And uh, accelerate away. I don't want to deal with that. That's for sure. Although it looks like there's a great big kerfluffle of a brawl down here. So, instead of trying to deal with the big guys, I'm going to try to come and help some of my team taking care of these smaller guys. Specifically, this raven I spotted earlier. I want his legs. I got a leg. And he's down. Excellent. We got some missiles coming in, so we're trying to break line of sight and move around here. Intense battle. Okay, try to get back up. I want that height advantage. It would be useful. There's the ECM for our team. We'll spot that guy so our allies can see him. We're trying to hold the lock here for our alarms, but he's gone back behind covers. So there's nothing we can do about that. Best we can do is just put down this covering fire. Bought the enemy for him. And get out of the way of those medium pulses. Oh, geez. Okay. Let's stay down here with our allies because we've got good shots on the enemy now. And if we keep our allies under ECM, it makes it harder for the enemy to focus down a single component because they don't know what's damaged because they can't get any targeting information. That'll keep this um, stock here, hopefully, alive as long as possible. Ooh, and there's an enemy. 
and stalker, stalker, help, stalker. Oh, he shut down. We can get a nice shot in on him. Oh, stalker takes him out. Excellent. Enemy adder there. Looks like there's a fair amount of enemies up on that ridge there, but I got no line of sight on them. We need our allies there to jump down to us so we can give some covering fire, but because they're not, we're going to have to push up and assist them as best we can. Ooh, ice. Oh, I thought that was an ice ferret for a second. That's a, a wolverine back down here. Try to spread our damage. There's a that there's that hellbringer up there. He has been annoying this entire game. Oh, that's another hellbringer. There's two of them. Do a little dodging there of their shots. He's coming down. He'll come around the corner in a second. Man, I'm just I'm just trying to focus here. There's a lot going on. That Nova is cord. My legs are low. I'm gonna try to maneuver to the right here. Try to focus that Nova. But he gets into cover. Alright. Looks like just a couple of us left. I'm going to reposition. Get out of here. Me and a DC. Alright. So let's see what we can do. We have our ECM, so we can be sneaky. Which is awesome. So I'm going to go and I'm going to reset on a, a hill I know of over here. Where I can snipe right around here someplace should be that hill excellent not seeing anyone that there's some guys up there hopefully they didn't spot me Oh, we're just going to step up here. Okay, hopefully we can get a, a line of fire. Drain some lasers. He is too woefully inaccurate. Trying to shoot through that cover at a target he can't see. He's just blind firing. But now we have to relocate as they've most likely made my position or sending guys my way. And we got our guy back. He reconnected. Oh my god, this is amazing. All right, I want to hustle to his aid. Oh, no. I thought he reconnected. No, it was the wrong guy. Oh, that sucks. And I had a, a target mark flash up there for a second. These reeds are extremely good for me as they provide visual cover while my ECM is providing um, radar cover. And that Nova has gotten to cover. Oh, no, that's not anything. But now I have to move again. There's a possibility that the enemy that took out my ally down there is coming up that direction but I just need one more good drain and I think his right side is gone and he is a stick and not needed anymore and I can just go hunting so we're gonna go far into d6 and then reset we're gonna go wide and around so that way they um, are not really sure where I am Oh, there's a target. Let's get some target information on him. Oh, 
yeah, he just has to blind fire down into the the pet lily pads here because he can't see where it is. And he's calling E6, but I'm not there. Now, I'm not going to get too close to him because I don't want to tip off him by getting the low, low radar. So I'm going to now reposition and run around. Hopefully he continues moving this direction. I'm so tense right now. I spotted an enemy out there in the distance. New target acquired. Nope. Too far away. And that's the Nova. Nova down. We only have three minutes and 30 seconds left, so we have to be a little more aggressive now. Um, we know that the adders hurt, and he has long-range missiles, so we can probably get aggressive on him. The Atlas is useless, because um, he doesn't have any weapons. Or at least, I'm pretty sure I... I created his guns. There's the Hellbringer! <laughs> I took off that side. He still has three medium lasers. Oh, he's gonna laser me. Nope. And that's it. <laughs> so... Unfortunately, <laughs> there is that one last guy in the Hellbringer. If he was crit, I could have done that. But that was a nice run around for fun there. But that was a fun game. You can get to hunt in the light. It was exhilarating. What? On to the next one. All right. We got a fight in our Thunderbolt 5SS, our Thunder Wub, Frozen City. Because this is a great map. Oh, so cold. You can cool down so much. Oh man, that last match was really intense. Um, <laughs> I didn't give it a chance to even think about anything I was trying to say or um, what I wanted to say before I started doing this episode. Uh, so hopefully that comes out uh, at least coherent. Um, but now as we relax and move towards the front lines... Uh, I meant to have this up yesterday, but <laughs> randomly, it was just like, oh, my friend came back from uh, Taiwan. Oh, we're going to meet up in the morning. Oh, turned into a whole day hanging out. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's a, a bad thing or anything. It just was unexpected. And therefore, I didn't get my video done like I should have. But I'm doing it now, and hopefully it should be up uh, this evening. At least I'm recording this on the Monday right after work. Oh, and there's a bunch of enemies that I can shoot. Excellent. And get back into cover. I expect missiles. No? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for not shooting missiles. It is much appreciated. Don't shoot Goss at me. Now you shoot missiles. Ugh. Lose luck. Oh. Just that tiny little mood movement there got all the missiles to hit the ground. Target screw your missiles. So, uh, this is going to be bad. We've got our allies pushing around that side, and they're pushing hard. I'm, I'm really torn between staying here and holding this line so our allies can push their back end, but I also want to fucking run because I'm scared. 
but I got rid of that UAV, which is really good. And hopefully our allies, please come, please come push in us, push into the enemy team right now. We need you. Try to put some damage into that stalker. One more shot before I go below the hill. His right torso is really crit. Uh, I thought I saw another UAV. No, I'm just seeing things. But we got a bunch of bad guys coming in. We just need our team to push in to the enemy. Harder. Faster. Aha. And you are crit. And you are stripped. And you are mine. And now our team is crashing in. And so we will respond in kind and crash into the enemy as well. Where are they go? Did they drop down? That might not have been a good idea. Oh, but that king crap. Ooh, he's he's facing the other way too. If we get around this side, we can get some shots into his back as he runs from us. I'm gonna let that guy go down that way, and I'm gonna go left here. Hey, I'm find an adder I can kill. A <laughs> lerm adder. Hi, lerm adder. <laughs> Say hello to your death, lerm adder. Puh. That spider is really annoying me. But since we have that UAV from our ally, oh, we got some great knowledge. Come on, gonna get that spider. We go for his leg, hopefully, but ah, he got away from us. Oh god, there's an enemy behind us. Oh jeez. Uh, push? <laughs> round the corner, get some cover, head straight into these guys. This game is falling apart. I want to finish off this king crab. Alright, he's down. Oh, I gotta get, take care of this 1x. He's got his AC 20, so he's definitely a standard. We just try to go through CT. We got that Damage getting spread. Arrgh. Come on. Face me, you motherfucker. No, he's smart. Come on, come on. One more. I want you. Yes, I got you. Ah, the movie grows my weapons. Take me. I accept death. Ah, uh, unfortunately, we did everything we could. 700 damage, 4 kills. But. We could not finish them. Let's see what our misslings can do with a single large laser. And we we'll, did some damage, but he got taken out. We'll take a look at the results. Oh, 700 damage, 4 kills. Match score of 84. Uh, top of our team. Some not very good numbers. Our, a DDC with only 44 damage. Mm, it's quite bad. Um... Well, can't win them all, unfortunately. We'll see what the payout is. 130,000... That's alright. But 3.7 thousand experience. Alright, last game for today. And hopefully we can make this a win. Uh, we're in our Thunderbolt 9S with our PPCs. Mining Collective. It is back as of the patch uh, about a week ago. It came back. And I was very happy. I much like this map. I like the, it, you know, it's it's dark, but it's not dark in that sense. Like, there's enough uh, lighting in the uh, area, and there's enough spotlights and those flame plumes and stuff like that that you can actually see, but it's still shadowy and cool that way. 
All right. We need to move. Looks like we're going to move left as a team. So I'm going to go right through there. It could go through there, but it's a little open if somebody gets into the center. Uh, they can shoot you down from the center, and you have no uh, ability to use cover to defend yourself. There's that. Hugin going that direction. And our... Oh, sorry, guy. I walked into you and took some of your missiles. But we shall see what's going on. I might cut across here. Looks like I'm pretty safe. Our allies are fanning out, and we're starting to get some guys up there so we can move in. And I, I'm not hearing them. I might have my settings wrong here. Oh, I'm getting shot. Okay, I can't do that right now. I'm getting shot. That's not good. Oh, I saw an enemy. Oh, there's an enemy too. Get, ha, let him taste some PPCs. They've wrapped around us on our right. So we're going to go and try to get up into the center so we can have some elevation advantage. Hopefully we can use that to a good effect. New target acquired. Alright, push D3. They're spread out. Let's do it. I like the strategy. Let's head down the ramp here and start shooting right. Looks like they're just being distracted by our team there. So we shall go right into this Thunderbolt. Uh, he's standard engine for that build, so we definitely just core them straight out. The medium lasers are more heat efficient, and he's down. Come here, put on heat just to see through that fog there. We'll give that guy a taste of PPC. Try not to get in this guy's way. But then come back around the corner and try to put the nice shot into that Hugin. Come on, Hugin. Accept your fate. Ooh, I shut down. That's no good. I need to get out of there. Oh, God. Oh, God, Hugins are scary. I have no idea where our team went on that. It seems like they disappeared. <sighs> Doesn't look like I'm going to get any wins this today. Mm, oh well. You can only do so much. Hopefully I can just get a good result. Slings coming up there. That's a timber wolf. Ah, oh, my weapons are mounted on the right side. I'm not getting any bite with them there. Right, let's move forward. Stay with the team here. Thankfully, my right is still okay, and that's where my PPCs are, my main weapons. My left is about to go, sort of next enemy I see. So. I will lose my medium lasers very, very soon here, which is sad. But there's no excuse for being a wimp in the back. We must push forward. Always press the advantage when we can. Rotate, and we keep our side torso there. We got some. Ow! Now, ow! No, ow! Damn it. And we're down to PPCs. Excellent. And they're on our right side, and we're trying to rotate around the left of something. So that is very detrimental for us. I see you little cheeky bastard up there. But now we can move forward, hopefully. I want to get to right there in the corner. That way I can ho be hooking my right side around the object. That would be very useful. That Nova is so crit. They are rotating. Oh, I almost want to... <clears throat> feels like my team's going to get caught if we don't 
counter rotate. Oh, our panther's gonna get caught out. We gotta keep, stay with our heavies here. It's more important. Stay with the heavies. And most likely somewhere in D4. Um, ooh, they're rotating around. We could turn around. I want to say that's a strategy. Ooh, that Hellbringer should come back, I feel. But this may have also been a mistake. Who knows? We need we need more UAVs on the enemy team. That's what we need. Oh, it seems like we have an enemy here. Don't get that guy's way for backing up. Try to put down some fire. But get God, this is intense. No, it does not look like we're gonna get this. Alright, best we can do here. That and then we get back into cover. Oh, and we're down. Nope. Doesn't look like we're going to get a win today, unfortunately. But we shall see how our team does. Okay. And unfortunately, we get taken out. Although it was an intense fight, we'll see where our scores are. So, uh, 258. Ooh, ooh, ugh. We have a lot of low numbers on our team. Um, I mean, mine wasn't that great as well. I would have liked to have placed more into the, the 400 range. Um, but, still... Uh, good game for the opponents. Those those Hugans, my God, that fifty percent cooldown reduction on their SRM fours is ridiculous, and a pathetic payout. Forty four thousand. If I'd even used a single consumable, I would have gone and made no profit. If I'd used both, if I'd used two, I would have lost money. So unfortunately, we had a bad couple of <laughs> trio of games there. But let's see if we've made enough. I hope we have. I was expecting that last game to pay a little bit more than that. Uh, I believe. Do we? Hmm? Can I see? We just barely have enough. <laughs> wow. We, j we just have enough by like... 20,000 C pills? My god. That is close. But... One over or a million over, doesn't matter. You've done it. And we got it. And we have our 9SE, which is going to be our last mech in our Thunderbolt drop deck. We have two more empty mech bays, and those will be for Ravens. Uh, we shall look at our purchasable mechs here, and we'll go into the light category. And for our future Ravens, it is most likely, since we already have the 3L, well... We don't have any choice. We must go 2x and 4x. Uh, 2x is going to be really cool. This uh, mech has some great uh, quirks here for large lasers. So something like two large lasers, two medium lasers uh, is starting to become very popular on this mech. And the 4x, I'm not sure how it's normally set up now, but it has jump jets, which would be cool stuff. But for now, uh, we've got our 9SE. Not much we can do to it yet. We need to get some more C bills and possibly do a little bit of engine swapping in the next episode in order to get it a good loadout. And we're most likely going to do two large pulse in the right arm and three medium lasers in the left torso. Thank you for watching this episode of Road to Community Warfare. Good hunting.